What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. And we're starting things off today with actually a viewer submission that is the Research Mining Ship Persecutor? Pretty sure was the name. And I actually do like the the design. The out the exterior part is really kind of cool. Uh, that's why I ended up picking it. Was because I I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a callback to my Sonic Saturn days, but I really like these ships that have this kind of like circular, um, almost like a hollowed out wheel well type of thing. Um, there's a, a ship a long time ago, I think I did on the Inspiration series that had them, and it reminded me of the, the SWAT bot ships kind of thing, and I've always loved that design. So it, this kind of reminds me of like a bigger mining version of like one of the SWAT bot ships. So I thought it was pretty cool though, I like that kind of stuff. Um, and y'all know how much I like uh, a good glass bridge kind of thing. Um, that's like the best part of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea to me, is that glass front submarine thing. Uh, for those of you that know what I'm talking about, cool points to you, otherwise, I guess Google it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so let's go ahead and take a peek inside. This is a world file, so even though it is modded, um, it doesn't really matter what mods it uses. I do really like those airlocks. I wish that was something... I, I'm hoping that Keen actually intends to put them in at some point. Um, I haven't heard anything personally that says they are, but I really, really, really hope they put that in vanilla at some point, because I love not having to configure and use scripts and stuff to run an airlock. I think that's so cool. Um, nice reactor room. I like this. Especially the, uh, the green. Very, very green light. And then we have an access point. I wasn't sure if you could actually, like, get in here and do stuff, but I guess in Space Engineer's terms, that would also allow you to maintain it as well, as you could use your welder or something on it. Um, so yeah, we've got all this piping and cool detailed stuff and things. Um, that is one thing that I do like about the, the modded builds, is there's the interiors just feel more fleshed out, more detailed. Um, Interior-wise, in terms of size, it's not that big on the inside, though. I mean, we basically have the main bridge and the reactor area kind of thing. It is a mining vessel, so, you know, it, it must not really be designed to go long distances, or because I don't even see... I didn't even see any crew quarters or anything, unless I missed some somewhere. Oh, we didn't go down. Maybe there's something down here. Let's check that out. Because I was like, that seems a bit small. I forgot that there was this down downstairs section. Honestly, this right here, this section right here, reminds me of Return of the Jedi, where they're under the Emperor's uh, area. I am throwing out the references today, man. I'm like a reference maniac. Okay, here we go. So we have a med bay, a cryo chamber, uh, and a, a relaxing leisure area. So it's probably uh, by by the storage thing, by the cryo chambers, I guess that would make it a two to three person crew? And you're having like two on one off or something? I mean, there's five consoles here. Interesting. Overall though, I mean, functionality aside, or however it's supposed to be, I do really like the design though. The exterior and stuff is really cool. Um, it does, the description did say it was moon and survival ready, but not planet ready, so you wouldn't want to try and land it on a planet, apparently. Now, with modded thrusters, this should actually move pretty great. Yeah, that is one thing modded thrusters do really well, is they've been tweaked to where they have more force, usually. Especially these, I forget what they are, they're the modular ones, and these back ones are like the Titan ones or something like that. I haven't done modding in a long time as far as... Uh, what the names of everything is, but the speed on these is ridiculous. And turning-wise, yeah, it moves really, really nice. So overall, I really like it. So with that said, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, so next up we have the Stardust Luxury Private Yacht. Pretty sure I got that right. Which looks awesome to me. Uh, again, as much as I like glass stuff, I love how the whole side is glass. I think that's really, 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 really cool. 
Um, there's a couple of other things as well. Uh, the I do like these larger engines, how they're kind of like at an angle. Um, I've seen this done a few times, but I never fully mastered how you actually do them. I know it's done with rotors at some point, uh, where you're basically rotating them just at a slight angle and then building off of the rotor head kind of thing, but it's still really cool when you get these four pods at an angle. Um, there's also quite a bit of detail stuff going on in it once we can get inside here, but I wanted to kind of fly around the outside and give you a glance. There's also this section, which looks like a boarding ramp. Wow, I was way far off from that. So we come up here, we go over here. Oh, this is cool, it's got little crossbars. Okay. Uh, gangway ladder timer. Trigger. I don't know which one does what. I'm just gonna click that one. Maybe they both do the same thing. Since it's a toggle. It also looks like the landing gears have a toggle button down there, possibly. But I like how this is attached to one of the landing gears, actually. I thought that was kind of cool. Or at least close enough to the landing gear that it's like an extra one, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I'm guessing when you get up here, the rails retract. That's so cool! It's a it's a small little touch, but I think it's really cool. Am I crouched? Why am I moving slow? Oh, my sim speed's down. Okay. That makes more sense. So we have a medical bay there, which actually makes kind of sense as far as if you were to run across something and pick somebody up or something like that and they were injured. This is really cool though. To me this is kind of like the um, almost the shining star of, of the build is this really really open but there's like a balcony and it wraps around and you got these pillar things. Really really well done. Just really cool. Uh, we've got the, the glass LCD table. We've got a dining room over here and this cool little like torch thing going on which I guess is actually just the interior block that now has more of a block to it huh I think that's what's going on there let me check um, let me grab a welder so we have interior light and the interior pillar so that's just the the light trying to attach to the pillar that's a cool little trick I actually really like that. And then the chandelier thing. It's really cool. Yeah, I just, I love the interior here. This is really, really neat. I mean, there's a lot going on here. Um, and I like the, oh, that's cool. Two doors on top of each other makes like a big cathedral doorway type of thing. This is really cool. This is really neat. Uh, hangar door. Are they the same? Hangar door. That's really, really cool. And then this is going to lead off to the back, I think, because we saw the uh, platform that could come down as like a ramp for the garage or the hangar. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't see any controls. I'm not really sure where you... Okay, so if we come down this way... There they are. Garage door... Hangar bay. So the hangar bay is probably... Okay. Let's open the garage door. Which one's which? I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, so we have the hangar door there. Did I close one of them? Oh! Rotating lights? Oh, that's cool! Put lights on hinges. That's a really neat idea. Cool! Turns the lights off, pulls that back up. Awesome! Oh! I just realized there's a vertical one. So is that what this is? So all that's sealed up. Come on, highlight the button. Yeah, okay. I did not realize there was a second hanger thing up there. 
That's pretty cool. Oh, the sim speed, though. Okay. Alright, so we have... The master bedroom is here. What is this one? Sun bath and swimming pool. Alright, so let's check out the master, the, the master suite. So we've got shelf units, um, planter, <laughs> TV screen, um, looks like a gaming chair over here. Holy crap. Oh! What is... Well, that's cool. Well, that's a neat touch. It's like a viewing, TV viewing, and gaming chair. That's cool. And I really like this, too, how it's like... You have the... Wait, what does that do? TV. <laughs> I broke stuff! <laughs> and then this leads to the bathroom? Yeah, wow! This is actually a really detailed bathroom. For, for not actually using modded interior blocks. Kind of thing. We have a bathtub there. We got a toilet over there. Sink in a vanity, I guess. That's really cool. There's a lot of detail work that went into this. This is cool. Uh, so we have a desk. A very nice desk. And a very, very nice looking bed. So it turns all the lights off, I suppose. Hence lights. I wasn't sure what the way this was going, if it was going to like rotate and you'd have a, a view. But look at that view! You got like a whole window wall. That's pretty awesome. Alright. Sun bath and swimming pool. So that's cool. Use the, the projector trick to make a swimming pool. Oh my! What? So this is the kind of stuff that's crazy to me. That like hanging light fixture thing. This is ridiculous. This is really, really cool. I really like this build. <laughs> uh, swimming pool light. Ooh. I like it. Swimming pool door. Yeah, we'll leave that open for now. What goes up here? Oh, wow. That's really, really cool. Like a little... Uh, stove. Aha! See? I was right. Stove. What happens? Was it stove lights, or was it the actual stove? Hmm. I'm not sure. Probably eventually they'll, like, light on fire or something like that. That's really neat, though. Alright. So that goes that way. We haven't really seen the upper part, though. I still love this foyer. This thing is really, really neat. Got a screen and a viewing area. This is so cool. Second bedroom, KTV. So that's cool. I'm actually very, very impressed with, even though this is a world file and contains mods, I'm actually really impressed on how little mod blocks are used for the interior. That's kind of blowing my mind right now with this build, I must admit. What is this? KTV. Oh! <clears throat> So, clearly, this is the gaming room. I mean, that, that's, that's very obvious, I think. I mean, that, that's a very... Mm -hmm. Yeah. KTV, I mean, that's clearly... Clearly the kids' TV room. That's just... That's totally what that <laughs> is. <clears throat> um, so, let's check out this other bedroom over here. <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, like I said, though, we've seen a lot of interiors, and most of the time it's like it's either a modded interior or it's a kind of generic vanilla and not really that interesting interior. I'm very surprised, actually. Oh, there's a captain's... I thought that's what we were looking at. I guess that was the master. Wait a minute. Is this... 
the captain room and bridge. I'm not sure if this is a captain's quarters, I'm guessing. Hello? Switch? Nothing? Okay. Um, still getting some residual light from the uh, kid's TV room. <clears throat> Looks like. Uh, so here's... Okay, so this is the captain's cabin. Then. And... Oh, I want one of these. That would be cool. Um, there's... Looks like a lounger or a bed thing. I'm not really sure why there's like two beds. I mean, there's one up here and there's one down there. Uh, bridge. Airtight door must be closed. And yet, it is open. So, now we are on the bridge. I really have enjoyed how people are starting to use the LCDs for, like, essentially big lights. That's a really cool technique, I think. Okay, so we have the main bridge here. Which... This looks like it might fold out, and I think the description said something about pushing the button and then waiting for the chair to be aligned, so this is kind of cool, though. You, like, stand on a light platform and have this, like, view thingy. That's pretty neat. What is this over here, though? These are, like, huge words. This seat for third version. I'm not really sure what that means. Well, maybe we'll mess around with that. I feel like that might lead to breaking something, so I'm kind of wanting to not do that. But I definitely want to see what this chair is about. Timer block ready in. Remote control reference. Timer block ready out. Okay, so ready in. Ooh, it's a spinny chair. We all know how much I love spinny chairs. <gasps> and opening few thingies. <gasps> what is this? What is this black magic? Besides awesome. Okay, that is really freaking cool. We've seen rotating screens before that like rotate. I've never seen one come out of the floor. Not in this game anyway. That's cool. Okay, so when we take over the controls, we have flying position, landing position, gangway, ladder timer, and landing gear. All right, so we're gonna have to not see what we're doing apparently. Because stupid camera controls. Maybe. Mm. That really, 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 really bugs me. At least the spectator camera was really close by. I hate that crap. Alright, so we're taking control of the vessel. So we pulled up the gangway, so we probably don't need to mess with that. Um, I'm unsure if we should pull the landing gears or if we should go into the flying position. I'm thinking flying position may pull up the landing gears by themselves, so let's try that. If we hit one, that might just be the wings. It looks like it's just the wings. And landing position, I think I broke something. Alright, um, <laughs> let's try and lift off a little bit, give ourselves a little bit of room, oh, okay, okay, so it does not seem to have a way to just hover, oh, the dampeners are off, dummy me, okay, that's better. Still not sure it can completely hold itself up, but... So, let's retract the landing gears. Pretty sure it's descending. Nope, wrong thing. Okay. This is very complicated. Okay, so the landing gears retract, and actually they conceal really well. It looks like part of the hull. That's pretty neat. And then, if we do... The flight mode? Well, it worked before, and the wings came out. Anyways, so there is the issue of uh, hovering. It looks like hovering is kind of an issue for this ship. It doesn't 
it may not be able to fully hover. It can fight the atmosphere, though, as far as we are gaining altitude when you're actually lifting off, so that's kind of cool. Um, forward speed seems pretty good. Again, you're dealing with a, a large ship, and it's not really designed to be... Um, it's not really designed to be some kind of fighter jet or something. And the turning is pretty good for for a yacht size. So all in all, I am really, really impressed with this build. So with that, I think we're going to wrap this one up and let's move on to the last one. All right, so last but not least, we have the Augur Star, which is supposedly, according to the description, a, a, a colony runner and a supply and survey ship. Um, and the description does describe it as definitely done in in line with the same kind of like uh, old school sci-fi 80s stuff like that and it shows it does have a lot of that clutter detail like what we've talked about before um, and it's really really cool looking actually again uh, it's a vanilla build so the design and detail work is very impressive to me um, so yeah we got this big old thruster engine block thing over here on the back the interesting part to me is i'm wondering how much of an interior this ship actually has and how much of it is like cargo and stuff because i believe the description said it's a six person crew which was very surprising to me because the thing looks gigantic um i mean i guess it's not crazy big when you're comparing to i might have this pasted in upside down I do. I have this pasted in upside down. Um, didn't really notice that. See, that's the problem with block lettering. I thought it said 58, not 85. Um, what'll be funny is if it's actually not upside down. The reason I say that is because the door, um, was vertical this way. So it makes me think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was upside down. Okay, so let's do a flyby real quick the right way. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Anyways, it looks a lot better this way. <laughs> I was impressed with it before. It actually looks a lot better this way. Holy crap. Um, so, yeah. That's my bad. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I like a lot of the randomized detail to it. It makes it look very, very authentic. Um, and it works really, really well. I'm curious as to what this glass area is up here, if this is actually the bridge. It kind of looks like it could be. Actually, it kind of looks like it is. Ooh, and that looks detailed. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I can't wait to get in there and take a look. All right, so now we're coming on the other side, because why not? Okay. Now, there is still the really, really stupid lighting glitch going on. Um, and the cracking of sensors, apparently. Uh, but, according to some of the screenshots, the mood lighting in this ship is really, really cool. Um, and actually, it looks very similar to a cup uh, to one that we saw not too long ago. I'm wondering... I'm wondering if it's the same builder, because that hallway looked almost identical. And the overall structure is very similar. Though there is always the possibility that I just am using the same build again and forgot that I've showed this before. I don't think, I really, really don't think that I have. I'm pretty sure this is just going to end up, this is the same builder. I'm almost positive. I am almost positive that it's the same exact builder from a few builds back, a few episodes ago. Uh, I did another bigger ship that had the same style, and I praised it for a lot of the same things. It was like the mood lighting worked really well. It had a very good throwback kind of feel to it. So I'm almost positive at this point it's the same builder from a few episodes ago when I showed that other ship. I just can't remember the other ship or who it was. But the bridge is awesome. And it is that that was the bridge we were looking at outside, from the outside. The bridge is awesome. Um, I have to say, the, the detail and lighting is probably, to me, the coolest thing about this entire ship. Um, 
some of that, uh, like we talked about, that clutter detail is really well done. Um, I don't, I don't know what is going on where I'm like sticking every few feet. It's really weird. Like there, did it again. I don't get it. Uh, star map. Ooh, this I gotta see. Oh, yes. This is awesome. This is like some cerebro warp core level stuff. The only thing, the only thing that would make this any cooler, and it's probably in here, I'm just probably not finding it. The only thing that would make this any cooler, though, um, is if there was, like, a boot-up button. Like, let me see the star map, and then it just, like, bloop, 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 and it turned into, like, a, a holographic, not holographic, but a, a, a room map kind of thing. That would be awesome. But still, that's epic. Love that. Um, now everything has a blue hue. Ready room. Why? Oi! I don't know why it's sticking. That's it. I'm pretty sure that's the game's fault. I don't think that's the build. I think that's the game. Either that or it's still somewhat loading. And so we're still getting a, a tad stutter from pop and loading kind of thing. Which is possible. Uh, but yeah. I don't know that we'll see every single thing. Cartography. Ooh. This room looks cool. Interesting. So I guess this is supposed to be the machinery that maps the star map? Would be my guess. But yeah, I really do like the lighting in this in this ship. Uh, the lighting is really, really cool. When it works. But again, that's game issue, not build issue. The reason I said I might not be able to show off everything is honestly because I'm probably going to end up getting lost, because if this is the same builder, I definitely got lost on the, their last build. Um, again, not really their fault, just me. Me being a, being a derp. Um, the, the description did also mention, and it's probably what these are with these blank, um, signs, is that there are a few empty rooms that were left empty for both, um, time and performance reasons, but may be filled later for utility bay access. So that's what those, those were. Yeah, okay. We did do a build that was almost, that was probably done by the same person. It was the one that had the, all the cargo containers in the middle. And so there was this big stretch where... Oh, hi. When they said cargo area, they weren't kidding. Um, that's like store a ship. But yeah, it was one of those where you had to come up this way because the center of it was um, one long cargo container array thing. Ooh, this is cool. I really do like the lighting. All the green lights in the dark with a couple of well-lit areas is a really nice touch. Unless, and again, there may be some things that aren't coming through all the way just because of the lighting glitches. And what is going on with this? Oh, that's an oxygen tank. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't look like a cargo container, or they've changed the model again. Um, so I should have probably put two and two together with the oxygen generators over there. But, you know, I'm the guy who gets lost in a spaceship, so, you know, take it as you will. Um, current deck, med bay utility, crew quarters, escape pods. There is also, I believe this is the ship that um, in the description mentions that there's uh, like three-seater escape pods, which is actually kind of cool because most of them are single pods, so that's a neat idea to do three-seaters. Um, I love... Ah, don't look up at the light, but I love that effect as well. The spotlights um, through a vent, which for whatever reason, I don't know if it was on purpose or just some happy accident, but the spotlights give off this fog, which when you couple that with shining through the vertical window slope thing, you get that really, really atmospheric lighting there, which is really cool, and I love that, that technique. Uh, storage B, so lots of, here's the storage containers, that's like it. Another hallway. I'm trying to find the med bay, keep saying med bay this way. Spare room. <laughs> it is literally a spare room. 
Okay, and we have a med bay. That's cool. I like all the brightly lit LCD screens and stuff. I think that's really neat. Aft access. Ooh. This is cozy. Deck 3 access stairwell. Ooh, reactor core. Go on. Alright, let's skedaddle. Woo! That I probably couldn't do again if I tried. Man, they do not make the reactor easy to access. It's probably a smart thing. It's really probably shouldn't be a criticism. <gasps> what is this? Oh, that's cool. So this is the main power conduit, high voltage. But they're using the, the blink light thing to make it look like an arc current. That's so cool. I love it. Love it to bits. Um, and then I end up in places. Yeah, I really do like the at the mood lighting when it works. Like this right here is a great example. That is really really cool. I love that. I love the lighting in this ship. Since I'm like 99% sure this was done by the same other or the same person that did the other build that I was praising, I'm pretty sure they just have a really good grasp of lighting and mood lighting, because this is awesome. I love it. It's great. It's very, very atmospheric. And now we finally get the core access. Okay. Yeah, I love the I love the atmosphere in this. Um Okay. So where's the core? Again? This is not going to the core. Refinery bay. Now wait, just a doggone minute. You said core access over here. Did you not? Core access. Where's the core? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cheat. Core access stairwell. Oh. Okay. Reactor core control refinery aft access are both down this way. Where is this core control thing? I was just down here. This says refinery bay access. I'm lost. See? I get lost. All the time. So this is the refinery bay. So... <laughs> okay, where am I? Anyways. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, probably didn't show everything in this ship. It is a fairly large ship. That's why I said I was surprised it was only set up for a crew of six. Because... Seems like there's a lot of room for six people. Uh, great for paintball matches. But anyways, so I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.